Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about line chart in the Power BI. How to visualize the data in the line chart, we'll see in this video. So in this video, I am planning to use the AdventureWorks data warehouse for my example, because AdventureWorks has the more data. To, if you have a more data, visualization will be more easier and you can understand the uh, lines very easier. Let me connect to the SQL Server AdventureWorks Data Warehouse. My server name is dot slash SQL 2012. Click on connect. Yeah, let me expand this. Let me select what are all the tables I need for my example. I am planning to take dim date and dim product, dim product category, dim product subcategory is really not required for me. Still, let me select that. So, for drilling down, might be easier for me in my example. Let me click on one fact table, fact internet sales. Totally, if you understand, so I selected fact internet sales, dim product subcategory, dim product category dim product and dim date so these are all the tables i selected so once you're okay with the tables let's click on load so there is an edit uh, button you have if you want to edit the data if you want to edit uh, delete some columns from the load altogether here it is uh, loading is happening so based on the size of the data it may take a while So data is ready now in my power bi in memory so now let me take a line chart so if you see in the visualizations in the second line the first item is line chart let's double click on it if you see this so this is the line chart here you need to select the fields what are all the fields you are planning to apply for the visualization let me select the calendar uh, date so here i will be selecting the calendar year so here i selected the calendar year so means i wanted to see the sales over a period of time that's the reason why i selected a calendar year next i will be i am planning to select them internet sales so from the fact internet sales i am planning to select the sales amount so what is that yeah sales amount so if you see this i have selected sales amount as well not here let me put calendar year in the axis and sales amount in the values field so by default everything has uh, gone to the value section that is the reason why i got only one uh, dot now if you see this so in the axis i have a calendar year in the values field i have a sales amount if you see this now i can see the sales of the products over a period of time in 2005 i have some sales 2006 i have some 2007 i have some 2008 i have some sales if you want to see overall like with a bigger visualization you can see that so let me enable legends so that you can see the figure automatically rather than hovering. So let me enable data labels off on sorry on. So if you see this, we can see what is the sales amount 3 million, 6.6 million, 9.3 million and 10.4 million. So over a period of time, I can see the sales amount. Now I want to see the sales amount for a particular product or particular product category. So how to include, let me add one slicer for this. So to add a slicer, let me minimize the size of this graph. Yeah, let me minimize the size of the graph. Let me add a slicer here in the top of the top of the uh, empty space. In the top, I have empty space. Let me add here slicer and let me select product category here so that I can see the sales over a period of time for a particular product category. So let me select here English product category table. Me select area this one click you see here let me make it a bigger visualization so now if you see this is a list of uh, products i have let me minimize this actually so that uh, it will be very easy for us see totally i have how many products accessories bikes clothing and components total four products i have in the product category table okay now let me select the uh, individually comp uh, bikes if i select the bikes i can see the sales over a period for the bikes category in 2005 i have a, a sales of around the bikes of 3 millions 
6.6 millions and 9.0 millions and 9.8 millions for this now let me select clothing i am going to unselect bikes and let me select the clothing if you see the clothing I have uh, around like a 127 a thousand um, dollars in 2007 and 2008 I have around 213 213 thousand uh, uh, dollars in the 2008 so I don't have a sales in 2005 and 6 that's the reason why I don't see that years even in the graph so let me select uh, components <coughs> yeah I don't have any sales for the components that's the reason why there is no uh, line altogether now let me select accessories for accessories, I have a, a sales in 2007 and 2008. So that is the reason why, again, I don't have 2005 and um, uh, 6 here. Now, if you want to go back to the previous position, let's select again, select all. It indicates select all now. If you click on it, so you clear the selections, it automatically goes to the select all. Now you can see 3 million sales in 2005, 2006, 6.6 .6 million, 2007, 9.3 million, and uh, 2008, 10.4 million. So this is how we draw a line chart in the Power BI. So in this example, we talked about individual line chart and a line chart with a slicer. So you already know like how to means like by this example, you will be knowing how to apply um, a slicer or like a kind of um, selection to the line chart. So Power BI is intelligent and it automatically applies because these tables are in, uh, like interlinked. If there is no link between these two, then it, it won't change altogether. But here it is changing because the link is already been established. If you want to see the link is established or not, let's go to the modeling tab. There you can see the tables are already linked with a specific keys. That's the reason why. So whenever I select something in the uh, slicer, data is getting changed in the line chart. This, these tables are all are linked. That's the reason why whenever I select something in the slicer here, it automatically changes here. If there is no link between the tables, then it won't change. I need to establish a, a manual link, then only it will change. So this is how my line chart is going to work in the Power BI. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please subscribe and provide your feedback. Thank you. <clears throat>